Hey guys, Javanel here, and uh, welcome to another episode of Redstone for Dummies. I apologize, my computer's kind of uh, fitzy today and decides to be laggy when it wants to. But you should still get the point. Uh, I'm making this video to introduce to you the new kinds of rail tracks. You have the powered rail track, and you have the detector rail track alongside the regular rail track. Now, how these work is this one... It outputs a redstone signal when it detects a cart on top of it. Just demonstrate for you. See? On. Off. Like that. And then this one, when it receives a redstone signal, it will actually propel the cart forward. So I'll show you how to make these now. In case you didn't know, these were included in uh, Minecraft Beta 1.5. So uh, how you make the uh, powered rail, we'll start with those, because I can imagine it's probably going to be the most popular one. You uh, get two columns of gold ingots up and down here. And then uh, you put a redstone dot right there. And then you put a stick right on top of it. And you get six powered rails, like that. And uh, for the detector rail, you get iron ingots in place of the gold ingots. You put a pressure plate here, and you put redstone there, and you've got your detector rails, like that. Now I've set up a few displays uh, for the, these different types of rails. The first one I've got here is a simple one-way one -way rail track. The minecart can go this way. Go minecart. Go. So the minecart can go that way. Perfectly fine. It's actually propelled by the... Uh, the uh, powered rail tracks, and but if you try to put it this way, it just doesn't go. It it only goes uh, clockwise. And uh, what this, how this works is, it detects uh, the detector rail detects the minecart on it, which powers the powered rail. So as soon as here, one second, I'll show you. As soon as it detects the minecart on the detector rail. It powers the powered rail and speeds up the minecart. Now, if you do it the other way around, the secondary function of a powered rail is when it's not powered, it actually uh, stops minecarts. So it works as kind of like a brake. So uh, there's no detector rail on this side, so it's unpowered at the moment, and it just stops the minecart. So that's why it only goes clockwise. Now, the second thing I have here is kind of a little uh, system for stopping minecarts. So you'll see when the switch is on. Minecart just keeps going and going and going, but as soon as you turn the switch off, minecart will stop here on its next loop. Like that. Now, uh, how this works is it's pretty simple. You got your powered rail out here just to keep the minecart going. Then you got the powered rail on a slant down here, and uh, when it's on, it's propelling the minecart down, and then it hits this and just keeps going. But uh, when it's off, the minecart hits it and stops because that's how rails work. Now the reason it's on slant is because if it were flat, it um, power rails can't propel minecarts that aren't moving. They have to be moving first. So if it stops on a flat surface, it won't start going again. So that's why I had to uh, find out a workaround and put it on a slant like that. And uh, the last one is this big guy here. Now uh, this is just kind of a little miniature rail system I built with uh, kind of reload reloadable minecart type thing here. I'll show you how it works. So you get in, you press the button, you go, 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 go. Here's your uh, off point. You get off, and then as soon as you step on the pressure plate, it reloads the minecart, sends it back up to the queue of minecarts, which this is just set to have uh, three minecarts in the queue. And as you see, the button I pressed actually reloaded the uh, the um, on spot here, for better lack of a better term, the uh, entrance to the rail track. So you'll see whenever I press the button, it sends another minecart cart down, like that. Now uh, you have to go over here, and because it's assuming that someone's going to be on it, because there's no way of detecting whether there's someone on the minecart or not at the moment. Hopefully Notch adds that in a future update, but until then, you can't. And uh, yeah, it propels it. I turned it off too fast, so it kind of caught the bad end of the off track, but normally you're standing on it longer. And it sends it back up like that. Now how this part works is uh, you press the button, triggers this, goes up here, and there are 
powered rails, each separated by five regular rails, because that's how long it takes for the button to reset. So when I press the button, it powers these tracks, which propels the cart downward. Then the button resets, turns it back off, and the next one gets caught and stops. So, like that. Now, uh, there's there's a bunch of other uses now I've found with the detector. Rails, if you start doing too complex things, like you start having... Oh, that's the wrong one. You start having things that are like minecart or uh, minecart rails that can go have multiple options of going like this, and you start throwing like detectors around and powered rails and stuff. It can actually crash your game. Uh, these detector rails are still slightly buggy. Hopefully, Notch fixes them. But oh, chickens having fun on my one way <laughs> one way minecart there. But uh, yeah, I, I would be careful when you're uh, using these detectors, just because it can cause your Minecraft to crash if it's. I'm not sure what causes it yet, but it's still kind of buggy, so watch out when you're using them. But uh, that's about it for this. Thanks for watching. See you guys.